Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Sean's the name and YouTube's the game today. I recently made a video talking about an advertising strategy that I like to use on YouTube that yields me about $21.56 for every dollar that I spend. And a big component of that entire strategy is keeping my CPV or my cost per view as low as possible. And I really don't see too many people talking about being able to keep their CPV as low as this, so I figured I would share this strategy with you. Okay, so I'm not gonna be talking about the actual overall advertising strategy that I use for this specific ad that I'm gonna be talking about today. I already talked about that in my other video, so if you wanna watch that, link down below. This video is going to focus primarily on how I'm able to spend half a penny for every view that I get on my advertisement. First off, if you look at my Google Ads account, which by the way, if you don't already have one, then link down below will be a video on how you can set one up. But in my account, you'll see that this campaign is currently running at a penny per view. Let me explain how I'm actually getting 0.005 cents per view instead of a penny. This ad is driving views to a specific video in the form of a discovery ad. A discovery ad is when you're browsing YouTube and you see a promoted video pop up as if it's not an ad and it's just a normal video. And the video that I'm actually using for this discovery ad is just a public video on this channel. It's actually linked down below on how to set up a Google Ads account. And so guess what? Every single video on this channel that is public has their own sets of ads on them, whether they're pre-rolls, mid-rolls, post-rolls, pizza rolls, whatever, they've got ads on them. So that means that whenever I post a video on this channel, I generate revenue from other individuals like myself or businesses paying to get their ads seen. So if you look at the total earned revenue from this video since it was published, it's made me about $95.81 in YouTube ad revenue. Now, if you look at how much money I've spent on the video to boost it up and get more people to actually view it, hence lowering my CPV, I spent about $154. So if you subtract $95.81 from $154, that gives you my actual cost for this advertisement. Then, if you take that number and you divide it by how many views it's gotten just on Google Ads alone, not organically, that gives you about 0.004 cents, which is about as low as it gets. Now I round up to 0.005 cents because not all views from this video came from the ad, which means not all revenue from this video came from my ad. It's hard to track specifically, but if we went off of YouTube's analytics, we learned that out of all the traffic this video has gotten, 73.3% of it has come from this ad. Now, while this ad has boosted my video in the YouTube search and it's potentially ranked it higher elsewhere on the site, the only way to somewhat track it is to take 73.3% of that $95.81 that the video has made, which comes out to $70.26. So if we redo our math, we'd have to subtract $70.26 from $154, which gives us an actual cost of $83.74, which we then divide by 14,300, which gives us about 0.00585. Again, we're making a little bit more money than what YouTube shows because we are increasing our search ranking from that video through some paid advertisement. That's why I kind of take the 0.004 and the 00.00585 numbers and I average them together. Wait, did I say that right? You get the point. Okay, so that was long-winded, of course. It's Sean, hey, hi, how's it going? That's always how my videos are, so I apologize for that. But I do just wanna kind of focus on this entire thing because this is great for businesses and that's what we're focusing on. But it's also great for just personal creators and brands who are trying to grow on YouTube. This kind of opens the door to some amazing strategies and techniques to get your channel off the ground. So I'll make a video on, uh, on more about that at a, uh, at a later date. So if you're interested in that and you're a personal brand and you're trying to grow your channel, um, then definitely subscribe. That's a good reason for you to subscribe. But anywho, that's how I'm getting 0.005 cents per view uh, through Google Ads when I'm running a YouTube ad. So now I wanna actually dive specifically into my targeting and how I'm able to keep my CPV so low. 
Okay, now that we're logged into our Google account, um, I'm just gonna go through all of the settings on this account and kind of show you how I target for this specific um, ad. And you can kind of see everything as I go along. Feel free to pause the video um, and whatnot. So here's kind of the ad group that I'm running right here. Just, um, I call it cheap worldwide. I keep a max CPV of two cents. I even actually started that out at one cent. Um, and then I was like, I'm getting really good results and I'd be okay with spending a little bit more um, to get more traffic, so I bumped that to two cents there. Um, and you can kind of get some good uh, some good stats on all this kind of stuff in here. Uh, again, it's gonna depend on your budget. I try to get the, the cheapest results possible. So, um, all right, coming into ads and extensions, here's the ad that I was mentioning earlier. Um, the ad group is cheap worldwide. That'll push us back over here. Um, and yeah, and you can kind of see all this stuff. I mean, I'm not, I'm not BSing you. This is, all, this is all real statistics and data and everything that I've been getting. Um, and you can kind of see when I've up my budget when not on the uh, on the timeline. But okay, not really gonna worry about the landing pages too much because I'm not really driving people to a landing page. We're gonna dive right into keywords and you can kind of see all of the keywords that I'm using. Again, the video that is my ad is how to set up a Google Ads account um, in 2019. So, uh, you know, pretty much anyone searching for any of these keywords right here, I want my video to populate because I know that they're gonna find some value in that video. So things like AdWords, online ads, Google advertising, Google AdWords, all this kind of stuff. And you can kind of sort by what's getting you the most views and you know the, by the best, best results and everything. Uh, again, I try to keep it as vague and as broad as possible because Google wants to prove to me that I can get the most out of the dollar that I spend. Um, and because of that, I give them a massive target audience to go for and they basically zero in on what's gonna get me the cheapest results for that big audience. So, I'm okay with leaving Google Ads help on even though it's gotten me no views because once someone searches for Google Ads help, YouTube is gonna recognize that and my ad might pop up. Uh, so even though a lot of these things aren't gaining any traction, search volume might be super low or, um, or competition might be super high and my max CPV is limiting that. I'm okay with that though because I'm opening the floodgates. I'm making it as big as possible so YouTube and Google can decide um, you know, pretty much which one to run and which one to get me the best results. And you can kind of see you know, which ones I've spent the absolute most on, obviously AdWords, Google Ads, Google Advertising, those are kind of the big ones. And, um, and you can see the average CPV on those is still what we've been, uh, what we've been looking for. So um, yeah, I try to keep it as big as possible when you're designing your ad, put as many keywords in as you can that still relate to your ad because um, like I said, Google and YouTube is going to send you the cheapest traffic possible to make sure you're getting you know, your goal achieved in, in what you're trying to get out of your ad. So keywords, super important. I keep them. I mean, I've got tons of keywords. I think I've got 34 on this one right now. Yeah, 34. Um, some perform better than others, but there's plenty to go off of. So going into audiences down here, um, and again, this is going to vary tremendously um, based on like what your strategies are with your ad, but audiences, I don't pick anything for that because the more that I select and fine tune that, the harder it is for Google and YouTube to get me the best results. So I don't even fill out the audiences. In, in terms of the demographics, the only thing I really worry about is age. I keep it open to basically everyone. Same thing with like gender, all this stuff. Like I don't, no discrimination here. Open it up for everyone and YouTube and Google will get me the cheapest results. That's big and a problem that a lot of people run into when they start running Google ads or YouTube ads is they get laser specific with their targeting, which is really good to drive sales and that's a whole nother strategy in and of itself. But if you're just trying to drive brand awareness, if you're trying to just drive views, if you're just trying to drive traffic, you wanna keep it as open as possible to get the cheapest traffic possible because if I was fighting for ad space in just one specific location from one specific age group and one specific gender, that's really competitive and really expensive. So topics, I leave it completely empty. Placements, I leave it completely empty. I only focus on keywords, and then I make sure that my demographics are opened pretty much as much as, uh, as possible. Now coming into settings, you can pretty much just see, very simple, it's a video discovery ad. My bidding is set to two cents. Now again, this is all on um, you know, my actual ad group. This isn't the entire campaign, this is the ad group that I'm running. I've only got one ad group, so it's essentially for the whole campaign. Um, it's enabled, I call it cheap worldwide, as I was, uh, as I was talking about. Um, and then devices, I'm pretty sure are open up all as well. I'm pretty sure, yep, no, no bit adjustments on these. I've got them open whatever platform you're on. I'm cool, go check it out. And then you can kind of put in an advanced bid strategy. I don't use that. So 
that's pretty much the um, the ad group for this. And then I'm gonna go back into the ad campaign to show you some other settings. Okay, so that's gonna open up our locations and our ad schedule um, tabs here on the left. And you can kind of know whether you're in an ad group or whether you're in the campaign by up here at this bar. You can now see that I am just in the actual um, ad campaign. I'm not in the actual um, specific ad group. So we're gonna go into uh, locations first. And this is a biggest, this is probably the biggest thing out of this entire strategy is the location. And I'm gonna show you why in just a little bit. Um, so first of all, mine's open to worldwide. Every single country on this map uh, can see my ad. Now obviously if you have a brick and mortar type business or if you have a product that you can only ship to people in a certain country, then you unfortunately are going to have to target just that specific uh, location or country because um, there's no point in telling people to buy your product who lives in like Africa when you can only ship in the United States. But okay, so if you go into geographic report and we can actually kind of dive in and see where my ads are showing, this is pretty normal is seeing that India is getting me probably the majority of my budget. $61 have been spent um, just to send this ad to people in India because advertising to people in India is pretty cheap. And I'm okay with that because my product or service is worldwide to anyone uh, who wants to purchase an online course. So it's like, all right, I'm good. I'm good to market to the entire world. And you can kind of see which um, countries are you know, more expensive than others, which might be limiting how many times my ads are shown to those individuals. So for example, United States is way down here. I've only spent $1.82 to people who actually live in the United States because it's more expensive to advertise to people in the United States. So because of that, you know, a lot of my money's been going towards India, Pakistan, Philippines, Egypt, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia. This is where probably majority of the money is going. Um, and then down here, you know, these are these are great. You know, I'm still getting some traffic, some money's going in there, um, but uh, but not worrying too much about it. You can kind of see the views over here. Majority of my views are coming from um, from the countries towards the top. So this is the biggest thing: is your location. If you are targeting a specific country, you are not going to see the best results possible. Um, because it can be more expensive in that country. But okay, then the last one is just ad schedule. I've got it run pretty much whenever. Whenever I can get the cheap results is when my ads will run. And that's kind of the biggest strategy of this entire ad is really just keeping your audience so vague and so open that YouTube and Google will decide on when they wanna show your ad to make sure that, um, that you're getting the best cost per view. And you really need to set your cost per view limit either at a penny or two pennies um, cause that'll tell YouTube, that'll tell Google, Hey, I only want to spend a, a penny or two cents per view. So do not, do not send my ad to anyone else. If it's going to cost me more than that. And you're going to have to play around a lot with your ad. You can come in and you can kind of change this. Like I could lower this or I could raise it, but I'm pretty happy with how it's performing with two cents right there. Cause I'm okay to go over a penny every once in a while. If I'm going over a penny every once in a while, but sometimes I'm below a penny, I'm still kind of averaging that penny overall cost per view. And as we were talking about earlier, it's a lot less than a penny because I'm still earning ad revenue off this ad when people watch it. A little bit of an adception. And one other thing I wanna to touch on real quick is when you see this up here, Google is always gonna tell you it's limited by budget if you've got a really low um, budget because they obviously want you to spend more money. So they'll give you these kind of things right here and have you do the math out on it and oh if you spend four dollars and seventy cents you know you'll get this many more views and ten dollars you get this many more views and you know you can spend that money if you're willing to spend a lot more um i've seen through my personal experience the more you spend the worse your results get um but if you set your cpv to one cent and you don't want it going over one cent at all then um then you will get kind of i guess better results if youtube and google still send your ads out but it's just tougher at that point, and that's why I don't do it. Every once in a while, I will bump it up to like $4 if I'm having um, you know, increased traffic or competition goes down. But for the most part, I keep it at a dollar a day because I get the best results possible. But again, you can up your budget a little bit, especially if you're getting the results that you like. Might as well throw some more money at it and, um, and increase whatever your goal is. So yeah, that's basically how I set up to get the cheapest cost per view uh, possible. Hopefully you are able to replicate this for your specific business's product or service. You are going to have to tweak certain things to make sure it applies directly to you. But I do think you can get some very similar results to what I've been getting. And uh, that's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. Cheap results are the best kind of results. And I'm not saying I'm like the best YouTube advertiser on the planet, 
but I found some success in this strategy, figured I'd share it with you. And while we're on that topic, I do wanna say I'm in the process of creating an amazingly in-depth YouTube advertising masterclass. Um, it'll hopefully be done soon. It is a massive course, um, but it'll be able to take people from beginner to pro, and I'm pretty excited to finish it. I'm hoping it gets done soon. Uh, when it is done, I will leave a link down below for you to check it out, but I'm super excited for that. And I'd like to know what kind of results you're getting um, from advertising on YouTube. It's always great to see what other kind of results other people are getting. So if you're getting a lower CPV than what I'm getting, if you're getting something lower than 0.005, then please let me know in the comments down below or tweet me some screenshots. I'd love to see your, uh, your Google Ads account and maybe see how I can make mine even better. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you get trigger happy on that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. Always appreciate you watching my video. And again, check out those videos linked down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.